Hello, I'm Gabe Heller, and this is Kicks. Or maybe Quicks? I'm not sure how it's pronounced. I'm running this in an Atari 800 XL computer. Let's press start. So I'm the guy moving around at the bottom of the screen. Everything else that's moving around on the screen is deadly to me. Using my classic Atari controller for this one. So, you can go at two speeds, blue speed, which is fast, and red speed, which is slow. If you manage to outline an entire section in red speed, you get double the points. If the kicks touches you, that's the kicks, or maybe the quicks, then you die. If it touches your line, you die as well. Generally, you want to make hook-shaped stru hook structures. Oh, you got me again already. i got to be more careful. But you see, the sparks, which are those other things, are following me around. So, they get to me. We have a problem. Okay, he's out of the way for the moment. So the idea is to make a structure that slowly surrounds the kicks, and then close off the very last bit of it with a red bit to get lots of points, which I'm about to do. Can I do it? Yes, I did it! And I get red for all of that screen. Now, that's not perhaps the best shaped hook that I could have made. But I am getting a lot of points. So once I get up to 75% covered, well then, I'm on to the next level. Of course, the more of the screen I cover with my last thing, the more points I get. Okay, kicks, can I get there? Oh, I let go of the button. See that you push the button to go at red speed, and I let go of the button just a little too soon. 90%. Okay. Now you'll notice that the kicks is much more fast and capricious. Let's see if I can avoid him. He takes sharp turns and suddenly lunges back towards me when I did not expect it, and then I die. Is that the end of the game? That's the end of the game. You have three guys. Let's try again. Where do I want to start my hook? Somewhere around here, I think. Somewhere kind of centrally located. He's really hugging me very close, isn't he? So he's on that side, so I want to kind of box him in by heading this direction. back over to the other area. Oh, no! Looks like I'm going to have to get him while he's... Oh! Woo! Okay, here we go. This will do it. Ta-da! That's a lot of red. Maybe not as much as I could have gotten. Will it go over 75%? It might. Yeah. So that's all the score I'm going to get. Well, I got 5,000 bonus. That's not too bad. Okay. Much more capricious kicks. He's coming after me. As are the sparks. Looks like he's going this way, so I'll kind of head this way too. Try and cut him off. Oh, but now he's headed back the other way, because he is capricious and kicksy. I'm headed back the other way. Oh, looks like I might have got him in down there. Okay, here we go. Time for red. Ah, uh, this may not reach 75%. I may have to may have to do a little more. We'll see. I might just want to cheat it, because he's being all over the place, isn't he? Oh my god! Well, I tried to cheat it, but in fact I boxed him in. <laughs> and I got 98%! Oh my gosh! I, that, that, that almost never happens. Okay. So now there are two of them 
If you separate them, it doesn't work. Nothing fills in. Because it only fills in areas that have no kicks in them. Yeah. So what are you going to do now? I'm not sure what I'm going to do. We'll find out. I may have to trap each of them separately. On the other hand, if they both go to the right-hand side, I may be able to trap them both together. We'll see. Is he going to head up or down? He's going to head for me, is what he's doing. Oh, no. No, 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 no. So uh, if you stop while drawing, then that, that spark appears there. And when that spark appears, you're in trouble. Okay. Ah! Oh! Got me. That spark slowly follows you down the length of your trail. Until you are dead. Okay. Please stay down there. No, they didn't stay down there. What am I going to do now? I've got two kicks to, to box in. Well, let's separate them. Oh, all scores are not times two now that I've separated them. Well, that's interesting. Oh! It starts over when you separate them. I did not know that happened. Maybe I have been trying so hard to avoid separating them. Well, that's probably the end of the game. Yeah, that's the end of the game. Should I play more? No, I don't think so. Maybe I'll make this a two-game video. Let's see what else I've got here. There's asteroids. I'm not very good at asteroids either, so we'll just make this the Kicks and Asteroids video. How does that sound? Yep, it's asteroids. Let's see if I can even remember how to play asteroids. Start does not work. Do I press the button to start? Start. There we go. Okay. So here I am. And I'm shooting asteroids. There are the asteroids being shot. Now, left and right turns me clockwise and counterclockwise. Right turns clockwise, left turns counterclockwise. Up and down do other things. I seem to remember this like a shield. Let me see. Oh, no, that's... Ah! Okay, so down is shield and up is sail forward. But, oh my god, is it hard to play this game sailing forward? You never really want to sail forward. But you might want to use your shield. I just seem to remember that if you use... So your shield doesn't actually destroy them. It's like it warps you into an alternate dimension. You phase out. But of course, if you phase out for too long, then you explode. Oh no. And of course, the fewer asteroids there are, the faster they move. Just like space invaders, I guess. Hey, I got them. Oh, but there's a ship. Ship. I need you to shoot the ship. The ship is shooting at me, and I can barely see the bullets. Oh no. Too many asteroids. Oh no. Shield. I may not have needed that shield, but it was easier than thinking about <laughs> what I would do if I didn't have a shield. Oh, this one's headed straight for me. I better do something about it. And that one too. Well, not quite straight for me. Oh! This guy's gonna get me. Okay. Oh no. It's aliens. Because this is 1982. And there are always aliens in 1982. Oh! I, I forgot that the, uh, they could Maybe just the music gets fast, but it feels like the asteroids get faster. I forgot that, uh, the ships could run into the asteroids and destroy themselves. It's a dangerous, dangerous asteroid belt. I think in real life, asteroids are never this close together, but, you know, it still makes for a fun game. Oh, nope. I was not in danger, but I thought I was. It seems to be a game that I'm much better at coming back and looking at as an adult. It's not a fast switch game, it's a thinking game. It's a watching trajectories game. And I have to admit that when I was 10 to 12 years old and playing this on the Atari computer, 
I did not. It was not good to fight <laughs> Come on. There we go. There we go. Finally ran across my path, and you. Oh, okay, you're just gonna hang out here. There's a lot of asteroids for you to run into, so maybe I shouldn't worry about you. I think I did eventually shoot you. Oh my goodness, so many asteroids. What am I going to do? Ah! Asteroids here, asteroids there, asteroids everywhere! I was once again worried when I needed to bend. Asteroids did not actually crush me, but they certainly looked like they would. Uh oh! What does that sound mean? I actually have no idea what that sound means. I'm not sure I've made it this far in this game ever before. surrounded by asteroids, but you may be about to be surrounded by asteroids, so... <sighs> okay, bring me back. I have to push button. Where am I? Did I lose all my ships? I thought the screen went weird when I lost all my ships. I thought it started, like, being all colors and things. That's not what's happening. Hello? Okay, come back. Oh, it's moving too slow, I'm gonna blow up. Oh, it's in the middle of me. Approaching the kill zone. Or the kill line. Oh, no, no, there's the kill line. And you too, you're approaching the kill line. Ah! The kill line wins again! <laughs> oh! Ah! Oh. I thought I used my shield, but apparently I didn't use it fast enough. It's gonna be a long time before I respawn, I think. Atari was not capable of vector graphics. <laughs> so, this was the best they could do. I believe they're just XORing them with their background, which makes the cleanup a lot easier, but doesn't mean that when they overwrite each other, they turn into black. Or at least some other color, in this case, they chose for it to be black. Seventeen thousand nine hundred, and my game is over. Well, that's kicks and asteroids. See you next week with something else. Warning, warning, this video is almost over. Warning, warning, it's time to choose another one. This has gone on far too long, time to wake up and sing along. Warning, warning, this video is over now.